Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be outlining a random drawn sketch. Um, this sketch is not by me by the way, it was a random picture I took from Google um, just because I wanted a sketch I could use to demonstrate the tools you would need basically to make a perfect outline of whatever the sketch may be. Alright, so without any further nonsense, let's begin this video. Alright, so the first and the main tool you would need to use is the pen tool. I'm gonna just use it for some curves and some basic lines. And I'm gonna just refine them with the width tool and some other stroke modes. So watch how I only did um, half of the light bulb is because um, rather than doing the full thing I would just take the half I've already made and duplicate that. You can do that by control C and control V but you could use my method to just alt and left dragging, alt click and left dragging excuse me and then just go head over to your properties panel and then click the horizontal flip and then you'll get the exact flip of your first your first vector line and you just gotta match it up with it. Now in this video you'll see me use the direct selection tool a lot. Um, it's because it's very helpful to just refine your lines and get the perfect shape you want. So in this case I just selected um, both of my shapes and I just take these um, uh, these refinement points, these circle points, whatever you want to call them. It just helps you um, um, smoothen the edge of any uh, rough corners. Alright, so over here I just grabbed the rounded rectangle tool, you can find it in the same tab as the ellipse tool and the rectangle tool. So I w over here I was just kind of looking if it actually matches the sketch or not. And to get this curve, I used the curvature tool um, located just below the pen tool, just to give me that dip on the top part of my rounded rectangle. Alright, so now the base is looking very strong. Now we can move forward with the refinement process. And uh, obviously after that, the next step would be to create the actual flowers, the leaves, the petals, and get the design process flowing. So I drew an ellipse tool in, in the center of my bulb just to give it that perfect um, rounded look. Um, after that, I uh, selected all my shapes and with, with the help of the shape builder tool just got uh, rid of all the axis and selected all of my shapes to get my stroke in one uniform line. Alright now, so for the leaf, um, as you can see, what I did was pretty simple. I just took two shapes, um, two ellipse tool to be exact, duplicated it, 
and I just wanted the middle part as it kind of created a uh, leaf like look so I just got rid of the outsides and boom <laughs> that's it Alright, so the width tool. Now, this is one of my favorite ways to actually refine your illustrations. Um, as you can see, it actually gives you so much access to your lines. You can start off in the middle, you can start off at the end, you can start off in the beginning of your points. Um, it, it, what it does, it just gives you access to um, basically anywhere in your, in your lines to make it um, wider or make it thinner. And as you can see, if you do it in um, one of the ends like I do it, it actually kind of gives it this ink pen effect like it starts off fat but it goes up very um, slim and sleek um, so yeah definitely a very cool tool to make your illustrations pop okay so now in this part of the video I want you to stop what you're doing and press ctrl s and save your project because the last thing you want to do is have your computer crashed on you and your project goes to the bin and you don't want that trust me save your projects Over here I went kind of uh, a little different, instead of just creating this um, simple lines in a circle design, I just went with um, a little more, I just went with um, something different, I, just, I, I wanted a little eyeball in the middle of the, the shape, so I kind of had this design in mind, and, and this is how it turned out. So yeah, the rest of the video is pretty much a repeat of what you just learned in this video. Just using the width tool, the shape builder tool, the pen tool most importantly. Just repeat these steps and just try to perfect these basic tools and you should be pretty, you should be having a pretty solid head start on the Illustrator game.
All right, guys, that should be all for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Hopefully you caught up on a new skill. If you did, please make sure to hit the subscribe and the like button. And as always, I'll catch you next time.